For decades, his voice has been the voice that thousands of Houstonians have tuned into in the mornings of the Mad Hatter Show and 97.9 The Box Radio, but you haven't heard from him there in a while, and there's a reason why. He's here this morning to talk about his new venture to public radio and the positive in impact it can potentially have on a whole new generation of young people. Welcome to Houston Newsmakers, Mr. Mad Hatter, a.k.a. Benjamin Thompson. Good to see you, my brother. Wow, that, didn't, that man don't want to put the government out there. <laughs> <laughs> man, I know. that's the way we start, Mr. Tamper. Okay. Uh, uh, how you doing, sir? How, how have you been? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Missed you, though, now that you're at uh, KTSU. Tell me about the vibe. The vibe is a new thing. Tell me about that. Yeah. It actually is. Uh, over here at The Vibe, we're definitely going to be uh, instituting a lot of hip-hop, R&B, and neo So uh, Gen Z and the millennials, they're going to love everything that we're doing over here. We're going to be community-driven as we're starting off. We're kicking off our big, big, big weekend, our takeover of KTSU 90.9 in the history of the station. has never happened, and we'll have a lot of surprises during the course of the weekend from some of your favorite artists in the city to an incredible Labor Day mix all the way to being in the community on this Saturday, uh, actually getting people all registered to vote. How is it different being uh, now with a public radio station as opposed to where you were before? What is it? How does it make a difference in terms of what you do and how you outreach to the community? Uh, so far, not really that big of a difference. I think we want to be more community driven over here. I think we're right here in the heart of Third Ward uh, on the campus of uh, TSU. So there's an expectation of being a part of the community from the jump. Uh, we just want to make sure that we brand this station as being a part of that and also introducing the marketplace to, you know, new types of music that's out there. There's a lot of R&B artists out there that's looking for opportunities and we definitely want it to be a voice and a frequency to give them an opportunity to be heard right here in H Town. As a as the content director now uh, of that, is what kind of influence does that give you on changing a, a whole dynamic in terms of what people listen to in this community on that station? Wow, uh, influence. I don't know if it's the influence of me. Uh, like I said before, there's a lot of great music out there, and what I want to do is just have, a, I, I want to give them an opportunity to be heard in the great city of H-Town. I think we've done well in hip-hop. We'll still be playing hip-hop and finding new hip-hop artists, but R&B, I think for such a long period of time, they have not had an opportunity to really shine in the city. I mean, yeah, we got our Beyonce's, we love it. We got our Lizzo's, we love it. The H-Town, the Ideals from the old school or the 90s. But, you know, there's a crop of talent out there that just, they have no place to go. Go, but their music is available and now I want to make it available on a frequency that can be heard by the entire city so is that is how do people listen to the vibe I mean where did people go to find the vibe it's a great question I'm glad you asked this was going to happen this is the way that we're going to be doing this thing uh, KTSU will exist has, as it always has uh, starting at 8 o'clock in the evenings Monday through Saturday 8 o'clock until 5 o'clock in the morning it is all the vibe on the airways but you can check out the vibe all times 24-7, 365. When you download the app, you can get the app right now. It is the Vibe app. Just go get that and you can hear us wherever you go. If you go out of the country in France somewhere just chilling for a couple of days, take the Vibe with you. We'll be with you right there. Do you, is there a different responsibility that goes along with what's going on because it is a public radio station? Uh, it's a whole different, you know, the way you, you were, you for profit. That's what you have been all the, for the last 20 years. It's all for profit. Now it's a different uh, you know, the public mantra on it yes. kind of makes it different. Well, you know what? Really, it's not to me. I think they're all for profit, right? Even at a university, it's still for profit, right, sir? Although we'll have underwriters and things of that nature, there's still a underlining profit uh, situation that occurs. It's always R&R &R in any business that you go into, even if it's nonprofit. But yeah, uh, we'll be doing that. It'll be a little different in the way our presentation can be as far as underwriters is concerned, but yeah, we'll be seeking those out as well. And, uh, you know, it's just a fine line that we, we, we can't cross when it comes to that kind of stuff. But right. we, we will, we'll need the, uh, the community to partake in it. And we're also membership driven, too. So you can become a member, which is always cool. And that's what I love about, you know, doing what I do at the university. You can become a member. You can pay a fee and the whole night. All that will be at, on the website of uh, The Vibe Houston. So make sure you go there and check it all out. Get all the details. Vibe Houston is the website? VibeHouston.com, yes, sir. Got it. I was just going to ask you, how do I find it? How do I find the place? And you just told me, VibeHouston.com. Now, Mad Hatter, I won't say the other name, Mad Hatter, public radio now. But Long still, but still <laughs> cranking out the hits and making a difference in the community. Thank you, Mad. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Mr. Canberra. Have a wonderful weekend, okay, sir? I will do. Thank you so much.